Designing and adding to your personal workspace can be an expensive hobby, but by being intentional with the items you buy and doing some research, a small investment can go a long way, especially when we're spending more time at home. Hey, I'm Andrew, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll be sharing a few of my recent purchases that keep my workspace a pleasure to work in and hopefully inspires you to get creative with your own space. Heads up, there'll be another giveaway in this video, so be sure to stay until the end for more details. Because my office space is quite small, storage space is unfortunately a bit of a weak point, so I grabbed the Orbit Key Nest, something that not only looks great but is incredibly practical. I keep essentials and tech accessories in here like my AirPods, SSD drive, Magic Mouse, and cables I might need quick access to while working. There are plenty of compartments, card holders, and customizable dividers, so it's a one size fits all type solution. But the really cool thing about it is it doubles up as a wireless charger too when hooked up via USB. I placed mine under the desk shelf with it linked up to the Cal Digit TS3 Plus running through the cable management bar. This way it can be used as a wireless charger, storage and on the go case. On the go, all I need to do is unplug the Nest, undock my laptop and I'm set with everything I need to run out the door. I also grabbed another IKEA Calyx drawer to boost storage space by turning the Calyx bookshelf next to the desk into a more versatile storage space. They're super easy to set up and transforms a couple sections from a bookshelf into drawers, complementing the drawerless sit-stand desk. Inside the drawers are simple IKEA wool felt trays to help store all the cables and things I need right next to me. Anything I need quick access to, for example SD cards, I store in the Grovemay cork drawer on my desk. So the sit stand desk has boosted my productivity and just overall work satisfaction, but we can't stand all day. A comfortable ergonomic chair is just as important as a great desk. In my previous desk setup video, I mentioned I was looking to upgrade my IKEA Marcus chair and Autonomous very kindly sent me their Ergo chair too. IKEA's Marcus chair is already comfortable as it is, but the Ergo chair too steps it up a few notches with complete full body support and customization. As you could see, the assembly was a breeze. It took about 30 minutes from box to assembled. And now it's all set up, playing around with it, the first thing I realize is the complete control you have over the chair. Previously I could only change the chair's height and tilt, now I have control over height, tilt, arm rests, head rests, lumbar and the seat cushion. The curved headrest is great to combat neck pain when working extended hours plus, in my opinion overall, it looks more pleasing to the eye than the Marcus, looking sleek, minimal, with a practical mesh backing. It's not perfect though. The adjustments click and clack and the armrests can be flimsy at times, but it's nowhere near as bad as some of the reviews I read online. I was expecting the headrest to be horrendous, but it tilts pretty smoothly. Construction quality obviously isn't going to rival let's say a Herman Miller Aeron, but at the price it packs a solid punch, doesn't break the bank and is a perfect companion to a sit stand desk. The next addition is the Orbit Key Organizer. I first got one of their leather key organizers a few years ago after the company launched on Kickstarter in 2013. The brown leather key organizer I got back then has stood up pretty well going through daily use, but after five years, I think it's time for a bit of a refresh. This time I opted for the, and wait for the full name, Crazy Horse Leather Obsidian Black with red stitching key organizer. It's an absolute mouthful. And yet Crazy Horse is really a type of genuine leather, so with time it should age nicely rather than wither away. I'm a sucker for items that hold aesthetics and practicality to high standards and the key organizer is perfect for organizing sets of keys, preventing scratches to other items in your pocket such as your phone, and overall it looks damn good. I paired it up with this ingenious Orbit Key ring for larger keys such as my gym tag and car keys. It uses a securing pinch and rotate mechanism so you're not painfully trying to pry everything together with a standard key ring. You know, we've all been there. 
If you know me, you'll know I'm a big fan of Grove Made. After the first round of Grove Made purchases, I couldn't help but get myself a few more additions to spruce up the space. Their artesian pieces really speak volumes. This time around, I'm replacing my worn wrist rest with Grove Made's leather and wood wrist pad. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of wrist rests, but because the Keychron K2 sits so high off the desk, using it without wrist rests is pretty uncomfortable. So horizontally, it perfectly aligns up with the size of the keyboard. However, it's very slim. So unfortunately, it doesn't provide as much wrist support as I'd like. So be wary of that if you're using a bulkier keyboard. I was kind of concerned about comfort seeing as it's made from wood, but after a few days of use, the vegetable tan leather and rubber is just as comfortable as the gel. There's also the added bonus of the leather softening and developing a nice patina over time, unlike worn fabric. Often, I have ideas that randomly float into my mind that I want to jot down with a pen and paper, so having a good pen and notepad close by is extremely useful. I grabbed the Grove Made brass pen and stand for this exact reason, and the brass really matches the wood aesthetic. Call me old school, but there is still something about a good pen and ink on paper that just cannot replace typing out your thoughts and ideas. Plus, having such a beautiful pen and stand machined from solid brass sitting on your desk really is a source of creative inspiration and a friendly reminder to slow down and write down your thoughts and ideas. Now, when it comes to war decor, I've had these two canvas prints for a few years now and although they've proven to motivate me through the nights I burned the midnight oil, I feel like I've outgrown them, so it's time to change things up. Naturally, I took some inspiration from Pinterest and magazines and settled on ditching canvas prints instead for frames with a black and white theme. It's not a large wall, so rather than two large prints, I purchased two white photo ledgers to blend right into the wall to sit for frames. This specific set of four are 12 by 8 inch prints framed in a Scandinavian black poplar wood frame. Right now, the prints are travel themes, reminding me of the corners of the earth I've been fortunate enough to explore, including the Trevi Fountain in Rome, Italy, Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, Empire State Building in New York City, and I'm just gonna say Fiji for this palm tree. Also, I'm tossing up between having these letters sit here on the ledges or removing them. I don't know, what do you guys think? Finally, when I thought I couldn't add any more smart lights to this setup, I've added a GU10 bulb from Philips. There's now 7 smart light items in this space. Guess I'm kinda smart light obsessed, but the lights compensate for the lack of natural lighting and are well worth it for the atmosphere they create. Highly, highly recommend considering smart lights for your workspace. Just a couple bulbs can dramatically transform your setup. So as promised, I'm giving away two things in this video. The first thing is the two original canvas prints, uh, the One Life and Stay Humble Hustle Hard canvases. And the second thing is the $500 Grove Made voucher. So to win these, all you have to do is let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite desk accessory under $100 and then make sure you follow the steps in the description box below. Speaking about the description box, I'll leave the prices to all the products mentioned and direct links for you down there if you're interested in getting them yourself. With that said, if you enjoyed this style of video, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's always appreciated. Let me know what sort of content or rehaul you want to see in the next video. I'm also on the lookout on potentially changing the setup to a single ultra wide monitor, but I just don't know how well it work compared to having two screens. So if you have any recommendations on new monitors or really any new pieces for this desk setup, please do let me know in the comments. I am all ears. Anywho, I hope this video has sparked some creativity and inspiration within. And finally, as always, thank you for watching.